Janice Murray, and we're here on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry, we're having a little hiccup here in the studio. We are here on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show by way of KHTS Radio. We're here on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220. I'm really excited. We've been having too much fun off air talking with the ladies from Zanta of Santa Clarita Valley. We are here with Sue Hayward, thank you so much, and Barbara Meyer. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to need you to sit really close so everybody can hear (laughs) you. And we are going to talk about Zanta. Everybody in Santa Clarita knows you guys. It's a a wonderful organization and probably the one that has the most members, the most people that are involved because you guys help other organizations in town. So let's talk a little bit about our local Zanta and the programs that you offer here. Oh, my. Zanta's been around, this club has been around since 1974. This year, internationally, it is our 100th birthday. Wow. November 8th, Zanta International, so the whole has been around since, uh, we'll be 100 years old. Congratulations. And we're doing a great celebration of that this year. Good. So um, the Zanta Club is very big in scholarships, grants. Mm -hmm. we um, very active in human trafficking. Um, the our biggest thing is um, our service projects, our grants and scholarships, and our events, which we're going to talk about a little later. In the some next of our, segment, in the, yes. In the next segment. And um, we are, the international, globally, we're tw- about 29,000. So 29,000 members. Oh, yes. wow, okay. And um, there's 1,100 Zonda clubs in, in 60,000 three countries. Amazing. Isn't that cool? So you've got the strength of the international organization, which governs some of the programs that you focus on here locally. Absolutely. Uh, okay. Absolutely. And that obviously would be the, the trafficking, the human trafficking. We are one. very into human tra- trafficking right now. That's one of my biggest things that, uh, that's a global aware. issue, but is, is there a very big global is issue? It, is it prevalent here in Santa Clarita? It sure is. Really? It sure is. Wow. Okay. You know, and our our uh, red dress projects that we've done over the years have been great we'll to bring focus to, 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 and awareness. Okay. Um, uh, you know, we do uh, Jane M. Klausman. We do uh, some of our uh, women in technology is our one of our new grants this year mm-hmm. scholarships that we're giving out. We're actually we have one winner so far and. We're doing that this this month at our business meeting. When you give scholarships like the Jane M. Klausman uh, Award or this one that you're speaking of, those are specifically for women in our community who, what's the criteria? Um, oh, boy. Most... It- it's it's a Ms. Business Award. This yeah, one is a Business Technology okay. Award. Business Technology, yeah. okay. Um, we also have, um, we do our, everybody knows about our Women in Service, of right? Course. We all know about that event, which is a great event that we do. We um, also are working on, um, we have a, um, sorry. That's okay. Um, Virginia Rage. Virginia Rage. Oh, yes. Virginia Rage, which is always fabulous. Mm-hmm. Fabulous. There's there's so many. What are the others? That's all, that's an award that's in an honor award. of Virginia Rage and that you guys give out. Event that we do a ceremony once yes. a year in in dorm. Normally it's in May, in our last part of May. Yes, we do. And that, that is for a select woman in our community who is identified as outstanding in her service or her philanthropic work here in commu- in the community. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So that's, um, there's so many more. What else do we do, Sue? That's Uh, great. Well, we work with um, single mothers Mothers outreach Mm -hmm. and bridge to home. home. We try to connect a lot with them and helping most women in the the community because we really believe that women really need to help women. We really need to step up, and this is a great Mm -hmm. organization for doing that. It empowers women and it inspires women. The the mission of Zonta is to uplift, empower women women and and girls or women and... Women and girls, yes. yes. We have a robotics program that we also do. We work with the Boys and Girls yes. Club, and that's yes. been going on. Darlene Lyons has done an amazing job with that. I heard the girls were Super the girls were, team were, were, were award winners. Mm-hmm. They were. In we, the competition recently. It was recently. so fun to have them come to one of our meetings last, oh, yeah. this past 
year. It was Wonderful. so great to see them, and they showed us. The girls were so cute playing, and they had all their robots on the floors, and it was pretty amazing. And they today, learned. for we all know for young girls, the, the STEM, the science, technology, electronic, the, the math, that's real important for us to push and encourage our girls towards. And that robotics, to me, seems like a fun way to sneak that in. It's perfect. Yeah. They're learning about the computers and technology and how to work all that on their own and, and, and to make and build these these functional robots and they think it's fun it is fun <laughs> that's amazing yeah, that's a nice partnership yeah. that you guys have uh, mentoring the girls and you are mentoring them when you're working with them on that program and we so. do a, a life forward workshop also once a yes. month yes i've been to several provide, what? yeah those are really good um phyllis walker's done an amazing job with yes. that when, i that, haven't that gotten my, so, so. my email about the upcoming one though what is this the upcoming we don't know where it is now it's alex urbina it's a, and it's mm -hmm. on parenting and he is awesome mm -hmm. it was, it's a very popular one mm -hmm. um we're, we're working right now because because of the Child and Family Development Center that we can't use the building. So we're mm -hmm. searching right now. We're for searching into yeah, for been a place with, right now. So yeah. with this Life Forward for a long time, mm -hmm. so she knows a little bit more yeah. about that and what Phyllis is doing. And mm -hmm. I know they're working to try to find a place yeah. to, to have it. And that's on a Saturdays. And, and we um, get a lot of the single mother outreach people mm -hmm. to come and also some people from Bridge to Home, not too many from mm -hmm. them. But, and um, it's, it's great. It really is a, a great learning experience. And Absolutely. Also, and so, they're free. Yeah, they so. are free. Yes, and we even serve food. Yes. <laughs> yes. I said I've been to a couple of them when they're pertinent and I can make that Saturday. I've been to a couple of them. And it's a, that's a benefit to our community. It's open to the public. And so... That's something everybody should go on your website and take a look at to see what the calendar date is coming up. By the way, your website is scvzonta.org. Scvzonta.org. And lots going on with you guys. When is the award ceremony this year? Mm, it's it's normally in May. It is. It'll be our last. Um, we do it in May. Okay. So we just don't know where it's going to be held yet. Okay. Uh, we have moved our meetings. We are no longer at the embassy seats. We start uh, August 14th at Courtyard of Marriott. Oh, okay. We're very excited about that. So um, we start and you, then. you meet once a month? We, once, we, a month. once a month. Our business meetings are once a month. Second Wednesday of the month. Mm -hmm. And your board member, your members are required to attend the meetings and take part in any or all of the whatever events activities. whatever service activities we have going on we were just in the july 4th parade which was amazing if you saw us online that i saw was, us on the radio that was pretty feed. cool right yes that was pretty cool, <laughs> was very cool. i'm a trolley i'm a trolley <laughs> i was in arizona we, watching the yeah, yeah, that the was pretty feeling cool. like i was there <laughs> yeah so we're trying to do stuff like that for our 100th year oh, so we've oh. been out and about how many like how many members do you have here in Santa Clarita? We have fifty one. Wow! I said you're one of the well most well attended or well staffed um, nonprofit, but that's a lot of people. Only women. Only women. Okay. It actually is open to men. We have. We just happen to have only women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you yeah. you actually have men too because we think do. Of all my the husbands my husband is a non zon who help out. That's right. That's true. So yeah. yes, but open to women. Your membership is open at any time. Or you have to wait till the uh, end of the year or whenever you... We do um, a full year and then we do a half year. So normally you would come in either in June oh. or you would come in in December. I see. And then we do, it's half, you know, it's, okay. it's half of the price. So yeah. But um, you can come, the meetings, you know, to come to a meeting. And uh, actually the first time, if you're a brand new person, we pay for your dinner the first time. And uh, yeah, we'd love to have everybody come and join us. The first Third. one is the... The second, second Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. It's going to be August 14th, and we start at 6. The meeting starts at 6.30, but we like to do a little social hour beforehand. Mm -hmm. And they have really nice food, and they have a little happy hour, so it works out really well. And this month, it'll be at the Courtyard Marriott it moving is. forward. We are, we are very excited about that. So if anybody's interested in joining the Zonta ladies, that would be a good thing to start to go to a meeting get a good understanding of what you guys are involved with on a regular basis and and see if that's something right. that you And if you're like interested you're welcome to call me I'd love for you to come. My give give we gave the website give a phone number that well, I'm going to give you call. my number which is 661-297-4482 but the Zanta number is 661-252-9351. So please feel to call us call me or uh call Zanta. All right. Again, Zonta, 
888-998-9351. Okay, and I am going to, I will um, post on our uh, KHTS radio page and on the Nonprofit Spotlight Facebook page a picture of you ladies after the show with a link with all this information. So if you missed anything as we're going through the show, trust me, you'll have a place to find it all. Very excited. Yeah, so anything else? We've got about 10 minutes in this segment. Anything else program-wise that we want to talk about? That we're out and about in the community, not event, but service. We're starting, we're going to have um, November 8th, which is our year, Mm -hmm. our 100th birthday. birthday. We're doing a new, I guess you call it a new event, and it's going to be called Desserts First. Ooh, tell me about that. Well, it's actually, it's going to be at the Mercedes dealership. <laughs> and I know that place well. Yes. <laughs> and we're very excited. All the details haven't been ironed out yet. We're hoping to get, if anybody, desserts is our thing. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be desserts, wine, um, and I, know, I think we're going to have a coffee bar and probably other drinks also. But we're still working on the details exactly what we're going to have okay. and what we're going to do. Interesting. Very interesting. So that's a little plug for that. And that is uh, as a fundraiser or just a social gathering? It will be a fundraiser. It will be a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. What other fundraisers do you guys do that we, uh, other than what we're going to talk about in the next segment, is there any other little fundraisers? Well, we do a a JR's comedy club night. We do a lot of, you know, things like that. And Mm -hmm. we will sometimes go to Reyes Winery and we'll do a wine event. We're doing that. And uh, we we try different things doing. We just go out. We meet for coffee on Tuesdays. So Mm -hmm. we do a lot of social type of things, too. Okay. So, yeah. So if anybody's got free time and wants to join the group, there's a lot to be involved in, a lot of different areas that you could take part in. Like you said, the the human trafficking is one of your big focal points because that's a global um, international uh, mandate from your international chapter or, or head. Um, but the other things here in Santa Clarita that you guys are focused on, the w- women in service, the women with technology, the business women in technology. We do grants also f- that nonprofits can get. We, we are working we with... We do community grants. Yeah. Uh, FYI, which is a fostering youth independence, which them. is a it's it's a really good That's organization. That's really a good one. And, so you yeah. guys partner so with we them. Partner with them also. Good. Yeah. So we're always looking for new people to partner. We, That's so mm-hmm. can apply uh, one for of our, our advocacy that we're working on this year is is with FYI, mm-hmm. and Sue's been a big part of FYI, telling um, with. Well, we went, uh, the, we went with the um, groups from the high school, and we were chaperones, and we went up to the movie theater in, um, I think it was El Capitan, in, no, Montalban, and that was last year. We haven't done it again this year, but we went, and we were supervisors of that, and it was really fun. It was really, really fun. So, For any the, nonprofit that's interested in, in maybe obtaining that grant, what's that application period? When's the date, and what's that look like? Um. I don't know the exact dates. I, I, I don't know the exact dates off the top of my head. Okay, so if someone's interested in that, they need to call the call Zanta. If anybody's interested, absolutely, yeah. mm-hmm. because we there every grant that we give out from JMK, Virginia Rage, all the other ones that we do, they're all timed. Mm-hmm. So every single one's different when applications need to be I in. See. I see. So on your website, scvzonta.org, is there an explanation of those Absolute. grants? Yes, Someone there can is. go on there and There's look. A, there is a whole fabulous. I was, on, I was actually on the website this morning because um, we were going to talk about LunaFest, and I wanted to make sure, and it's just beautifully done. Boy, they've really worked hard to get our um, our website up and beautiful. Mm-hmm. It absolutely looks beautiful. Okay, so somewhere on that website, if you're interested in applying for one of the grants as a nonprofit, and, and there's, there's different categories, and one of them is that. Wonderful, you can find that on the website scvzanta.org. We've got about five minutes. I I'm going to throw this out there because I don't want you guys to go away and say, oh, I forgot to say <laughs> this. Look at your notes and see program or service um, opportunities that people can get involved with. Anything else that we should know about? 
Well, we're always looking for volunteers to help also, like with single mothers outreach. So if someone mm -hmm. would like to work with them, they're looking for volunteers all the time to sort okay. through the clothing, oh. to do the sales. They've just um, updated the whole thing, and it's absolutely beautiful. I it, haven't it, been over there in a while. It looks like an upscale boutique. It okay. is beautiful. Okay. So we work on that individually, at, you know, and it's just wonderful. It really is just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Bridge to Home. Mm -hmm. You know, they have upcoming things, and we always support their so as a Zanshan, you ladies, the members, would be the ones that would be working, volunteering at these things. But you're telling me that there's outside volunteer? Correct. If uh, if someone wants to volunteer but is not a member, there's an opportunity for them as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wonderful. Absolutely. Wonderful. Because I think that's one of the best parts of Santa Clarita is, is – it's a very giving community, and people really do want to help in any way that they can. Absolutely. And um, we're just so adamant about, you know, women helping women, and it's just really, really important. And uh, so, But there are a lot of things going on in Santa Clarita that, um, that need help. They need <laughs> extra help. They need people, you know, championing their cause and, and helping out doing that type of thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Barbara, anything else jump out at you? Not right this second. I'm so, so. <laughs> Okay. Sue, I know we're going to go ahead and talk about it. Your baby. Okay. You are well, co-chairing this year's Luna Fest. Tell me about how that all started that you guys brought Luna Fest to Santa Clarita. Can you? Uh, it's, we've been doing it for nine years. Mm -hmm. And originally it was Cindy Kittle who's moved to Texas. She, she brought the first one out. We had it at the Paseo Club. Mm -hmm. And it was very small, very, very small. And then, of course, it keeps growing and growing and growing. And we're hoping to make it be really successful this year. And it always it's is. A, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just a really fun thing. It and, is. You know, it's a one-of-a-kind event, yeah. which I love. It's yeah. not a rubber chicken dinner or yeah. an auction. It's, I mean, it's a small auction. But that's not the focus. Point. No, we have raffles. When, yeah, you have raffles. Yeah, That's we right. do you the raffles. raffles. And, yeah, we've, and uh, we've got some good, pretty good prizes going on this year, too. There's going to be a, a big trip going to Sedona for four nights at the, at the Wyndham, and it's really beautiful. And we've got, you know, some other thing. I'm going to keep some a secret because okay. we, we, sometimes we do little surprise things. Luna too, Fest so. started not as a Zanta event. No. Okay, no. so so the people who brought LunaFest as an idea that nonprofits could take part in in their communities were an organization that put together these films f made by women for women and, and about, about women. women. Right, and that organization who started this idea opened it up to nonprofits who could bring it to their community as a fundraiser. Correct. Is that right? And what well, it used to be for was breast cancer awareness. Right. Now That's it has right. been redone. Now it's chicken and egg, it's called, which is a funny name, but it's a... Uh, it's uh, really a really what? Yes. <laughs> chicken and egg. I know her. It's called chicken and egg. <laughs> it's yes, a, it is. Is and that still a cancer? No, it's not. Oh, it's not. not. Chicken and egg. Um, they, the it's chicken and egg pictures, and they support women, and they um, basically do nonfiction filmmakers, and they tell stories, and they basically talk about social change, and they represent all different kinds of backgrounds and artistic goals, and they talk about parenting and uh, social issues mm -hmm. and women's rights. It's, mm -hmm. it's just a conglomeration. And there are eight wonderful films this That's year. And all? They're all short films. <laughs> uh, it's this eight, year, they're... It's, it's 85 minutes long. And Barbara and I went with Pat Warford, and we went to Palm Springs, mm -hmm. and we uh, saw the movies. And oh. they are amazing. They really are amazing. Okay, I am going to stop you there as a teaser. We're going to leave that right there. Okay. Because we need to take a break. We're going to come back and talk more and get really into depth about these films. Right now, we're here on your Nonprofit Spotlight Show. We are talking to the ladies from Zanta, uh, Santa Clarita Valley Zanta organization. We are here by way of KHTS Radio on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Don't go away. You see so much when you look at your child. A creative spirit that surprises you every day. Curiosity that develops into exploring unique passions. A little leader growing every day to discover who they are, what they love, and how they can make their mark on the world. At SCVI, we see those same amazing things. Our tuition-free K-12 charter school gives your child boundless opportunities to think critically and imagine freely with a customized learning program built around each individual student. 
As ILEAD's founding school, SCVI combines an immersive approach to traditional subject learning with extracurricular activities, including STEAM, robotics, theater, music, and sports. SCVI has the only international baccalaureate program in Santa Clarita, with a 10-year proven track record of graduates excelling at top universities. And we're in your backyard, just off the 5 Freeway in West Santa Clarita Valley in Castaic. For enrollment information or to learn more about our program, including homeschool options, visit iLeadSantaClarita.org. iLead Schools, free to think, inspired to lead. We all know sometimes people lose their way. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, The Way Out Recovery SCV may have the answers you've been waiting for. The Way Out is the premier intensive outpatient treatment center serving Santa Clarita. Asking for help is the first step. Call The Way Out today, 661-296-4444. That's 296-4444 for a private free assessment. The Way Out is an accredited, affordable outpatient program that accepts most insurance. Call us at 661-296-4444 or check us out online at thewayoutrecoveryscv.com. Quit battling with yourself. Ask The Way Out for help today. There is only one language spoken at Thai Dish, and it sounds something like this. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. This is great. Once people get a taste of Thai dishes, there's really no reason to do any more talking. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Make it full of flavor. Make it delicious only at Thai Dishes. Enjoy the atmosphere, love the food. Thai Dishes on Valencia Boulevard for free delivery. 253 Food. That's 253 F O O D. Oh. Mm. Western Bagel has been serving signature bagels, sandwiches, and hand-roasted coffee since 1947. They're family-owned and operated with 11 locations across SoCal, including Santa Clarita on Bouquet and the Old Kmart Shopping Center. Western Bagel makes their own whipped cream cheese, offering over 10 flavors along with other goodies, pastries, cookies, and muffins. Delicious Western Bagels. Check out their Bagel Brad Dill of the Week, emailed to you every Monday when you register at westernbagel.com. Hometown, your hometown station. This is the Nonprofit Spotlight Show with Janice Janice Murray. Murray. We are back on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. I'm Janice Murray. I didn't say that up front at the beginning of the show, but I know you all know me. I'm Janice Murray, and we are here by way of KHTS Radio. We are here on your hometown station, AM 1220 and 98.1 FM. 98.1 FM. That's important. That's a big deal for us. We are here, and there's all kinds of great ways for you guys to get information from KHTS. You can download our free KHTS app on on your iPhones and Android devices. You can listen to KHTS wherever you are. You can also access KHTS news, social media, and more. The easiest way is to go to your App Store or Google Play and search KHTS. Let's get back into our conversation with the ladies from Zonta again. We've got Barbara Meyer and Sue Hayward. Sue, Barbara is the president this year, just started her term in June. Sue, longtime member, is co-chairing a very, very exciting, one of my favorite, out-of-the-box kind of events here in Santa Clarita, and that is Luna Fest. Now, Sue, I'm going to ask you to tell us about Luna Fest, but first, let's get it on our calendar. What's the date again? September 13th at Canyon Theater Guild, That's right here right. on Main Street, right close to KHTS. Yes. And um, we have two different pricings for it. Uh, we have a $25 admission, which will get you in to see the movies and popcorn and a goodie bag and a few little other sorted things. Oh, really? And then we have our wonderful VIP one, which is 45 and you get wine and you get appetizers as well as Why wouldn't popcorn you? and everything else. Why so wouldn't you? Pricing-wise, it's very decent. This and is it's a wonderful girlfriend thing to do. One of the most affordable yep. events yep. in town. <laughs> and it's not just for girlfriends. No, it isn't. No, no, no. no. Last year. So, yeah. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. No, yeah. absolutely. No, it's a really neat yeah. event. So we won't... In the last segment, as we were closing, we teased a little bit about what LunaFest is, how this came out of some organization you said is now 
chicken and egg. Chicken and egg, yes. Pictures are written. Okay. Yeah. I'm still, Luna. I'm still, I'm, I'm going to go Google that. Well, which comes first, chicken I or the egg? I know. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. I, it's a tongue in cheek, I guess. <laughs> what a yeah. name. Yeah, exactly. Well, LunaFest, it's a national traveling film festival, mm -hmm. and it features short films for and about women, and it was established in 2000 by the people who make the Luna Bar. That's the, it. Yeah. That's where the name that's comes from. That's where the name from. comes from. And they were the first nutrition bar for women. So oh, I didn't um, know that's that. yeah. And they Fun fact. Basically, <laughs> yeah, yeah, promote uh, women filmmakers and awareness about women's issues mm -hmm. and they support women's organizational mm -hmm. nonprofits. That's mm -hmm. what they do. And all of the proceeds from Lunafest are donated to nonprofit organization, every one of them. A screening we pay a little bit of money to have the films come, but the rest of it goes to the chicken and eggs. Uh, nonprofit, and they support the women filmmakers, and it's it's really a wonderful, wonderful thing. So, do they tell you, as the nonprofit who's paid the fee to get the films, do they tell you how to package it, what kind of event to put together, or that was your no, creative? No, basically they they leave it. I mean, they do Good. have some guideline, but it basically um, is the one in Palm Springs we went to was a breakfast one, mm -hmm. and they serve coffee and donuts. Mm -hmm. And we're doing it at, at night, and we're doing it on a Friday because we're hoping to make it a little more festive. Oh, and okay. we also have music this year. Yes. Oh, Susan Ray, who is awesome, she's going to come and do mm. our music for us. Yeah. So that'll be on the patio. Yeah. Nice. So be, so Very nice. So that we're adding a little thing. You know, you got to tweak it up every year. So, yeah. It, it, so that's yeah, a so. perfect venue with the patio area. It really is yeah. nice to have that before the, the movies and then to come out there in the middle for intermission. It makes it a lovely evening, and I really enjoy this event. The movies are always very thoughtful. They're very timely and current. So as we're talking again, movies made by women, for women, and about women, we can kind of start to think about what the topics will be. And you said there are eight, right, Barbara? There are eight of them. That is correct. And you guys got to go to, va to where? Palm Springs? Palm Springs. Nice we little did. road trip and to get to view them ahead of in advance. We did view them. It was it was wonderful. I can actually tell you that every single one of them are amazing. There is no we've had in the past like subtitles. There is not I love one. Si subtitles I there is not <laughs> half the time, so I need to read it as I'm watching it. And there or are, I get distracted and I miss something. So I like subtitles. Yeah, there are no and, subtitles this year. Oh, how about any animation or mm -hmm. Yes, okay. there are animation. Good. So this is an event because you filmed the you viewed the films already. Mm -hmm. Would you say that this is an adult only event, or is this appropriate for someone maybe with teenagers, or is there any restrictions? Well, because we are serving wine, they would you know oh. we we have had uh, young girls mm -hmm. and we have had some college students that mm -hmm. come, which is perfectly oh, that's fine. fine. They just have to you know stay out of the area where the, where the wine is Got being it. served, but. Uh, no, it's, um, you know, they really are wonderful. I would have no problem actually yeah. having, you know, my daughter or, son, you know, I think it would be, it would be fine. It would be very appropriate, so. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I am looking we, forward to it. So when you guys decided that you were going to bring Luna Fest to Santa Clarita, you as an organization, Zanta, decided that you wanted to do it as a so show the film and have a little cocktail hour with the with the raffles and make it an event to try and raise some funds. That's that correct. correct. So and at, at that time when we first started, you know, it, it did go to the breast cancer fund. Yeah, I remember that. So and I forgot it's like a third went, but uh, this now all the it goes actually to us. But what we pay chicken and egg. Okay, so it's everything above uh, everything above your fee for the films mm -hmm. stays here in Santa Clarita. That's correct. That's important. You know, I'm, I've been doing the nonprofit spotlight yeah. show for 15 years now, and that is the concern. That's how anybody, we help our. Yeah. That's how we, d you know, raise money to help our scholarships Absolute. and our grants. Absolutely. So that's what's real important to us. What do you consider your largest fundraiser? Is this it? No. We do the Sierra Paloma Wine Event oh. Festival, which was in April. Okay. Yeah, and that was and that we're was doing really it one more. Awesome. So we yeah. were asked to do it. Um, we're mm -hmm. on it again for next year. Good, good. But this uh, is a standalone event that does raise enough funds for you to be able to support some of the efforts, the scholarships and grants that you are that doing in the community. So again, so if yes, you attend Luna Fest, you your money that you pay for your ticket goes to the efforts here in Santa Clarita. That's important. Yes. 
Every penny of that. Every penny of that. <laughs> and yeah. you, let's tell us how the evening goes because if you've never been, I'm telling you, this is a very fun evening. So Friday evening, we start at what time? Um, if you are VIP, it's 545. You will come in and you will enjoy the music from Susan Ray. And also we will have the appetizers passed and we have our wine and it's really lovely. It is. And then... Out the, in the patio. Yeah, in the patio. Yeah. Perfect. And um, the general admission tickets are uh, 6.30, and the show itself starts at 7. Okay. And then we take an intermission in the middle of it, and we have our raffle prizes that we do. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then it usually is over. We, oh, we have two really good speakers. We have one that is a stunt woman. Oh, which is very exciting, and and we also have one that is a writer, director, producer of her own film. Oh. So she's going to be coming and talking to us at at Wonderful. the intermission break. So, yeah. so that's very exciting. So yeah, so it really is a very very fun event. It's a very fun event. So, okay, I have yeah. to ask because you don't have that many, as I recalled last year, maybe twenty or less raffle items. Yes, it's less than. 10, Have you so. started collecting those items? Yes. Do you are you in need of anything? We are sure. always, always in need, need of items. Well, this is the time to make need. that ask. Yeah, uh, absolutely. If anyone has a business or a service or a product that they would like to extend uh, and donate to Zonta for this Luna Fest event. Who should they call or anything? Um, I can give you my number. You have oh. Barb's, and, and I don't mind any of you. My name is All Sue right. Hayward, and it's 661 297 0655. We are also doing an ad program, and um, our prices are extremely inexpensive. For a business card, it's only $30. Oh. For a quarter page, it's 50 For a half page, it's 85 And for a full page, it's $150. you are not going to see that anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And you could put in uh, a coupon if you wanted or just celebration. Um, I lost my husband last year, so I'm just putting doing in a, a memorial in memory? thing for Aww. memory. So we're kind of doing it as a little catch-all um, because the more money we raise, the more money we can give out to the women in Santa Clarita Valley. Absolutely. When we don't have any money, we can't give it out. But we, <laughs> So we need everybody to help. So even if you just want to write a donation to Zanta, that is acceptable also. Absolutely. Do you take donations on your website? Yes, yes we do. You, so yes, somewhere do. on that website, that there's is www.scvzonta.org. There there there's a donate button. Yeah. Again, scvzonta.org. You can go online and make a donation directly. Your tickets for LunaFest are already online. People can start yes, purchasing them now. Yes, Excellent. And if you are not a person that goes online, you have my phone number. Call me, and I'll even deliver the tickets to you. Ooh, so you have. You're yeah. so kind. Again, well, if, I know a lot of people don't get yeah, online. Yeah. You know, and I'm I'm a, I like holding a ticket myself. Yeah. So if you're <laughs> if you're not tech savvy and you want to reach out to Sue and get your ticket directly from her, that number is six six one two nine seven zero six five five. I suggest this event is September thirteenth. Don't wait till the last minute. Right. <laughs> Is there a limit to the number of seats? Yes, there is. That's right. It's about this is Canyon Theater Guild. 280 seats, maybe 283 seats, something okay. like that. Okay. So this isn't one of those events that we want to wait to the last minute. Correct. And the Correct. prices, I must tell you, the prices do go up at the door. Okay. Well, that's fair mm -hmm. because we know a lot of people wait at the last minute. And you, the, I don't think people really understand when you say RSVP or buy your ticket in advance, that's because there's some forward planning that needs to be done by the, the organization. Right. They've got to know how much food, right. how much <laughs> wine. You, you certainly don't want to have an event where you run out of food or wine. So if our community here could think about that when, <laughs> when we have these events that we're talking about, that would that would make me so happy because I've been on boards where you stress over that as you're the organizer, you being co-chair, and you're trying to plan this thing. That's the worst part of it. It is. <laughs> it's it's really, very hard, yeah. It is. So come on down. I guarantee you'll have a good time. Get your tickets <laughs> now. Absolutely. Can we tease a little bit about the, the content of can. the films mm -hmm. on LunaFest? Okay. Um, again, I said there were eight short films, and um, in one of them, Marion Ross from Happy Days is in it. How cool. Yeah, and it's called The Fight. It's so good. Yeah, it Everybody is super good. I can honestly tell you it is amazing. Oh. It is really good. And that one is called The Final Show. And basically uh, it would be thinking about who would you choose to spend eternity with? <laughs> as she oh asks her hairdresser of more than 50 years. In this hilarious short film, is it her husband, her ex-husband, or is it her high school sweetheart? If a bachelor number one, two, or three, 
Who will get the final rose from her? Like in the scenes in the TV series, The Bachelor. Who will Betty Schwartz choose to be her true companion for eternity? <laughs> Discover who will be the choice for Betty to spend eternity with. You'll be surprised and amused. It's a very funny Luna Fest film. So Guess it means it's not her husband. <laughs> <laughs> We're not she, telling. Oh, it's wonderful. It's, ju- it's delightful. It's okay. super delightful, yeah. But we have some that are animated okay. and some that are dramas. It's a, it's a wonderful variety. They All eight truly are different, and they all talk about women's issues. Mm-hmm. Every one of them is about a woman's issue. And um, it's just they are amazing. They are just amazing. Any, any leaning towards the political or the current events going on today that we're dealing with, and with women, the, the Me Too kind of issues, uh, any of those? Maybe a little bit, but not, bit. not dead on okay. with it. So, okay. they, yeah, with, sometimes you can get too political and it can kind of turn things mm-hmm. off. So I think mm-hmm. we try, it's, it's lighter. There's, Good. There is one that is very serious, um, but it is very important. It's a very important film. Mm-hmm. And I really don't want to say anything more about okay. that because um, really you've got to see them, okay. like I said, because they are short films. They are very powerful. They're very, very powerful. And the women doing these films are just amazing. Mm-hmm. They really are. You said that the event, the filming, is, is about 85 minutes. Yes. So eight or ten minutes each? Yes. That's not... Yes, and we have one that's shorter. I think there's one that's like three minutes, and I think one might be 15. Oh, I see. see. Yeah. So, but that's why they're short Mm -hmm. short films, which which works out really lovely. It really is thought-provoking. They Mm -hmm. really are, and you will definitely want it. Exactly, exactly. And every issue in these is important issues. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we want to bury our heads in the sand and say this... Trafficking isn't happening. We don't mm-hmm. have drugs. We don't, have, but we do. And the only way to fix problems is to talk about them and get out there and do something about absolutely. it. You know? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, this is um, a fun, light yeah. or a lighter way to present those Correct. issues and put them out in the community yeah. and give the, these issues some awareness. Right. So again, Luna Fest. That is going to be sponsored by Zanta of um, Santa Clarita Valley here at the Canyon Theater Guild on Main Street on September 13th. Tickets are 25 for general admission, 45 for VIP. I would imagine they're going to go up a couple 20 or so, 30 or so bucks by the time you get to the door. So do not wait because the theater only holds some 280 some people. So this event is, is one of those you want to get, get your ticket right away. Um, and this, again, is one of the events as a fundraiser for Zanta where the money raised goes to help support your Women in Service uh, Award, that program, your, um, your Life Forward program. All that you service offer, projects. All of your service projects. Your mentorship and the, the robotics programs with the partnership with um, Boys and Girls Club. All of the work that you guys do here in Santa Clarita, that's how you're able to fund these things. That is correct. That's correct. Wonderful. And the grants, don't not, not to forget the grants, grants that you offer right. to other nonprofits. You, that's where this, some of this money is coming from. This and then your event, the Sierra Paloma wine event, which was in April. April, right. That you're going to do again in April next year? Yes. We are April 4th. Wonderful. Wonderful. Right, April 4th. We'll put a and that's a dish. super and that's a super fun one too. And our desserts first, so I which forgot. Ha- I'm so sorry. Which is going to be November eighth, which is a brand new event brand for new Zanta, event. and that will be held. I was just going to say where that will, will be held at the <laughs> Mercedes Benz dealership. I've actually been to a, a function, a, a, a kind of cocktaily uh-huh. kickoff grand opening function there, and it was a perfect venue for it. Yeah. And now that they've remodeled, I don't know. I've not been inside of it, but it's a great size space. So. That's going to be November 8th, celebrating Zanta's 100th year. year. And it's a a good year for you guys to celebrate as well here in Santa Clarita. So desserts first. That event is being developed now. So so you guys, ladies, when you get a flyer or some more concrete information, please, one of you two, Mm -hmm. send that to me so that I can post it and get the word out as well. Perfect. Um, I would appreciate that. And I'll get that on my calendars so that I can um, yeah, Mercedes come is check a great it out. sponsor. They really help us out. They were with us also for the They're always festival. good to me. They're really, they're really, really <laughs> yeah, good. He's one of our biggest yeah, sponsors. Yeah, one of our biggest sponsors. So. Wonderful. Anybody else would like to be a sponsor, call us. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. It happens. Just yeah, pick a absolutely. And if they, if they sponsor you, can they pick 
which event or when you say sponsor you guys that's for that, anything that is a very good question yes we have a sponsorship I get a good question in every now and then very very good question <laughs> but yes but uh, because the sponsorship is on everything your, your name oh. is on all of the flyers oh. for everything that we do and then we also have donations if you just want to go for a specific thing some people just want to donate are. to LunaFest some people just want it so mm -hmm. yeah. that's important because yes, I know some people don't want to be involved with alcohol or some people exactly don't. right you know, exactly some we're very flexible <laughs> that's, that's the best way to be but if you do sponsor Zanta you get the exposure all through the year at all of the events that's important to some people Perfect. as well Yes. Everywhere. 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 Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. We are here on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. We're highlighting the Santa Clarita Valley Zonta organization. We've been talking with Barbara Meyer, who is president this year, Sue Hayward, who is co-chairing the Luna Fest event. I hope you've got a good team. I know you have a good team. I have a great I team. I am. I'm a She's chair. A, yeah. I'm the chair. So <laughs> I, I am. <laughs> so we do have a great team. And you guys have done it here in Luna Fest. You've done it here how many years now? Oh, here. Oh, at least four, six, seven, maybe seven. Six. Uh, I it think it was only two years someplace else. Yeah, okay. This, but this right. is our ninth. This, this is our ninth. This is a great yeah, venue a, for it. It really yeah. is a great Keep it venue. there if you can, yeah. unless it, you outgrow it. Yeah, but that's right. The, yeah. We'd love to venue. outgrow oh, it, yeah. only yeah. so that we can make more money. <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> to to give point. back. <laughs> to your point, I'm right on the money with that one. We are here on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. We're here by way of KHTS Radio. We're on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Let's take a quick break, and we will come back and wrap up our show. Don't go away. And now, a cooking tip from Keith Mallory from Bob's Country Meats. Ribs were made for the barbecue, but here's a great cooking tip. The best way I like to cook the ribs is in the oven, cover them about an hour, 350, then put them on the barbecue for about 15 to 20 minutes, turn them a few times just to get them nice and brown. Ribs, chicken, tri-tip, pork chops, turkey, steaks, even exotic game like buffalo and ostrich. For the tastiest ribs in town, visit Bob's Country Meats on Soledad in Canyon Country. Healthcare can be difficult if you're underinsured or have Medi-Cal. Samuel Dixon Family Health Center can help. Services are available on a sliding fee schedule. The mission of the Samuel Dixon Family Health Center is to give the Santa Clarita Valley access to affordable, quality primary care. There are three locations to serve you, Canyon Country, Newhall, and Valverde. Go to sdfhc.org for more information and to find the location most convenient for you. At Advanced Audiology, we know how important hearing is to you, your loved ones, your work success, your safety, and your ability to stay in the game. Most people won't admit hearing loss to themselves or others. We make it easy for you. Today's digital hearing aids come in a variety of styles, including invisible. All feature-rich, providing unparalleled hearing quality, wearing comfort, and automation that simplifies your life. Don't be fooled by our imitators. There's only one Advanced Audiology with the purple sign next to AAA on Valencia Boulevard. Your hometown station, KHTS. This is the Nonprofit Spotlight Show with Janice, Janice Murray. Murray. We are back on the Nonprofit Spotlight Show. I am Janice Murray, and we're here every Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> First Monday and Tuesday of the month, usually, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> highlighting our local nonprofit organizations. Today, we've got Zanta of Santa Clarita Valley, and we are here, like I said, by way of KHTS Radio. We're on 98.1 FM now and AM 1220. And we, since we've expanded our listenership, our 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 area of people that can listen, we also understand that there are young people who are very tech savvy and want to be able to hear us wherever they are. So now you can download a free KHTS app on your iPhones and Android devices. You can listen to KHTS news, social media, and more from wherever you are. The easiest way to do that is to go to your Google Play or App Store and search KHTS. We are here with the ladies from Zanta, Barbara Mayer, Sue Hayward. Barbara, as president this year, you've got a big task organizing, managing all the, the, the um, service organizations that you partner with, the projects that you do. Keeping Somebody's got to keep an eye out for all these fantastic women in the community who are doing amazing jobs so that when it comes time to give out the Virginia Rage Award or the um, community, grants. community Grants, the Women in Service Awards, you guys 
that committee must be that I would imagine is not a job anybody would volunteer for because <laughs> how do you choose there's so many women here in Santa Clarita who are doing amazing jobs volunteering have been volunteering for years but that's a big part of what you guys do to honor and support them and then your life forward programs as we talked about in the first segment that's every um once a month. Once a month on Saturday. This month, you guys are looking for a venue, so that you, that the the location is TBD. Right. Yes, it is. But <laughs> and this year we do know that it's Alex Urbina who's giving the talk, and it's about parenting. That I am sure I've been to his classes awesome. and I've, I've read his book. That is worthwhile, and those life forward classes are free. Yep. So I suggest anybody who wants more information about Zanta and the projects that they do and the services that they provide here in the community, go to their website. That is www.scvzanta.org. If you want to call, you can give them a call at 661-297-4482. That's my home number, but you can also call... Um, oh, I'm sorry, 252-9351. That's the Zonta number, 252. You're always welcome to call me. 9351. Um, Sue offered, because she is co-chairing the LunaFest event, if you are not tech savvy and want to get your tickets in hand, you can give her a call at 661-297-0655. Is there anything else we want to reiterate the dates of those events Luna Fest is September 13th, and it's going to be at the Canyon Theater Guild on right here in Main Street, right near KHTS. Starts at it starts five. well. If you're VIP, it starts at 5:45. If you are going to get a general ticket, that starts at 6:30. So please come and join us. And if you can't make it, and you would have a gracious heart, and you would like to donate to our organization, just go on the website again, scvzanta.org. Um, anything and all are welcome. And uh, we really appreciate the support. And again, women helping women, and also men helping women. And men can come, <laughs> so there's no problem. We yes, uh, and usually. <laughs> I'm excited for you guys. Again, I want to reiterate: November eighth. Put that on your calendar. It's not. Uh, firm and fleshed out in terms of what all is going to take place, but that is a brand new event called Desserts First, and that is going to be at the Mercedes dealership in Valencia. Sounds like whatever you guys come up, it's going to be fun because it's a one-of-a-kind. It is a one-of-a-kind. And, and it's the first year, so you can do whatever you want with this one, <laughs> but you're going to be looking for, I'm sure, donations from local companies who provide desserts. That's the main draw of the event absolutely and then if anybody obviously, wants to do that we'd love for you to you know give us a call reach out and and obviously you can't have sweets and desserts without something to wash that down they with that so wine. that's right <laughs> <laughs> well, wine, any donations of wine would be appreciated as well and and um it's already passed it was um in april but your next year's sierra paloma wine event will be april 4th 2020, 2020. so couple of things to put on your calendar and again if you're looking for a wonderful place that is family feel a feeling of family and working with some amazing women who are doing doing amazing work in this community call and ask about volunteering for any of the zonta events oh, i'd love to have you absolutely and i know that you guys always need help especially with setting up, tearing down after the events are over. There's a job for everybody. There is something that needs to be done that anybody could could volunteer for. So Barbara or Sue would be more than happy to, you know, have you reach out. Um, those numbers again, the Zonta line is 661-252-9351. Um, you can call Barbara at 297-4482 or Sue at 297-0655. Take home message, ladies. Anything else we want our listeners to know? Because I don't want you guys to get in the car and be upset that you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it's all good. Yes. And just Barbara. really support. Um, let's love each other. Let's be kind. And let's just make the world a better place. And the, this is one little community one at, at a time. time. Absolutely. Let's start here in Santa Clarita. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I'm with you. I'm with Absolutely. you. Thank you so much, Janice. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank you so much. It was, I hope you all come to LunaFest, come to our desserts first. Maybe we can, I would love to see maybe some people come and would love to become a member and join us in these wonderful events that we do put on. You know what? Just before we go out, I wanted to ask that I didn't when I asked about it up front. Your membership, you said either a full year or half year. What's the membership fee for that? 
if if someone wanted to join you, ladies? 243, yeah. I think it's 243. Yeah. So, and if they did a six month and you prorate it, that? Basically, yes. Right. Understood. Right. We've, we've got about four minutes to fill, ladies. Yes, and so, so we want to just let everybody know there's great opportunities to join your organization. You guys are one of the fun organizations out there because you do have a wide variety of backgrounds with the ladies that we are members. We have some members. wonderful women. Yes, you do work all these events and and women in your organization that, that have been in the organization for years for years so that says something about your nonprofit it I mean, really we does have women that have been in there 27 or more years wow right. well, judy too because judy and judy judy just big but shout Judy's out to back, our, everybody big shout out to, to judy, judy Penn. she's gonna be at luna fest <laughs> love her and miss her but she absolutely she will be back, back for yes, luna she fest does. so she comes back we have to yeah. we have to do a special little party in the corner right with judy exactly Exactly. No, you ladies are doing amazing work in the community. And again, from grants to nonprofits, scholarships to professional women who are trying to get their life back on track or who, who are in the tech industry or, you know, trying to, to further their careers, to the young girls, partnering your partnership with Boys and Girls Club, helping them encouraging them towards the STEM of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics fields by way of this robotics program that you guys have with them. And just in general, mentoring and, and, and being a force for our women and children here in Santa Clarita. The Life Forward programs are free, and those are on different topics that are pertinent to women, parents, um, you know, single moms, whatever. Your work with Single Mothers Outreach um, and helping, that's an opportunity to volunteer over at the store. All that money that's raised from the store goes back into the community to help single mothers outreach. Mm -hmm. There isn't a thing that you guys do that I can't imagine anybody wouldn't want to take part in. Your work, you know what we did not talk about, though? And I know it's already passed. The radio station was involved with it. Your red dress days that highlighted the human trafficking, because that is a, a mandate from your international headquarters, um, when when is that coming back around? It's That's normally in November. November. Normally in November. Um, it's 19 days or oh, 16 days. 16 of days of yeah. 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 And it's normally the week before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Ah, so that is the red dresses are just a symbol, an outward symbol that to, to help us put the cause first and foremost in our minds. When you see one of those red dresses around our community, there's always a, a member of Zanta who is there with some information to share, to enlighten, to educate people yeah. about. Have, there are seven red dresses, and each one of them represents someone that we lost due to domestic violence. And it's a total awareness program. If you see something that doesn't look right, say something. Stand up and say something. Don't let it go. Absolutely. If it's nothing, then it's nothing. But you know, And better it, be safe than sorry. Exactly. Right? They had one girl, and they couldn't find housing for her. And this is very sad. I'm probably going to cry. Uh, but she um, went back to her mother, and her perpetrator found okay. her. And, um, She's gone, and it's very hard. So please, if you do see something and it doesn't look right, stand up and say, stop. Yes, like no, you said, stop. Barbara, yeah. we can't put our head in the sand. These no. things happen here Absolutely. in Santa Clarita, unfortunately. Sure so yeah. we need to be made aware, and you guys are doing an, an amazing job of bringing all this education and awareness to us. So I thank you both for taking time out of your busy days to join thank us. Thank you. And thank share you. your passion for Zanta with us. Look forward to seeing you at Luna Fest, Luna Fest. September 13th. We're at the top of our hour. We're going to get you caught up with your national and international headlines. We're here by way of KHTS Radio on your hometown station, 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Have a good day.